Hello, my name is Elbengara and welcome to this Skyrim modding tutorial. This is part 3 of my texture editing tutorials. And right now we've loaded up Nifscope version 2. And this is a random uh, solitude house that I've loaded up. You can see I've already begun texturing it. But let's start from the beginning. So let's say we want to retexture this stuff right here. So we can click on that. It will automatically select Naya Tri Shape. We can click on the little arrow here and we can go to BS Lighting Shader Properties and DS Texture Shade and we can see that the name of the file is S Stucco Wall and it's got a normal map as well. Great. Good to textures into our, our data folder Architecture Solitude and it's S Stucco. S stucco wall. Great. We're going to select both the diffuse map and the normal map. And we're going to copy it to our desktop. I just right clicked and drag it to my desktop. Although you can do control C and control V. Copy here. And there we go. Now, uh, the reason why I've done that is to provide. A backup. Um, essentially, you should never ever retexture stuff unless you have a backup. Because if you make a mistake, you still have the original. Get it? Good. So, uh, let's use Photoshop for this tutorial, or we'll do any image editing software with the the plugins that I've described in my previous video. Could work. So, S stucco wall and S uh, stucco and wall. We can drag in there. Yes, and now it's giving us this dialog if we install the DDS plugin for Photoshop. So I'm going to show you something. I'm going to put in load maps. Press OK. So this is what the uh, maps is. And you can skip forward uh, this if you like, but I feel like I have to explain it. So mid maps, it's just a copy of all the f of the texture in increasingly smaller styles. Now, what 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 is this? This is for smaller resolutions. So this one here will be the highest resolution on my computer. It's 720. And this one is smaller distances, and that is the smallest resolution over there. Now the best thing about the DDS plugin and the um, the normal map filter plugin is that uh, when we save it out, it automatically creates this, so we don't have to, you know, uh, do the old trick of duplicating a layer and then uh, copying it, resizing, copying, resizing. We can all automate this using the plugins that we installed. Great. Okay, now that I've explained that, let's import it again, and this time, I'm going to do it properly. I can drag those files there. No, we're not going to load mid maps. Using default styles, press OK, and press OK. Okay, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to use this photo that I took in my hometown. It's a nice limestone, little bricks here. So let's go about, um, to make a challenge, let's go about changing the stucco wall. We're going to drag that here. I'm going to drag it on top of the stucco wall. Now it's going to be huge. So we can resize it. Hold it down, shift. So we can resize it in perspective. To our heart's content. Okay. Now, for the purposes of this tutorial, this will do. Um, let me explain a little bit about theory uh, of texture, and you can skip this if you want. So, how they made this? They weren't just, you know, taking a bunch of photos and then using it as textures. Basically, they have a base layer, which is this grey stucco, 
And on top of that, they have another layer which provides all these contrasting colors. And then on top of that, they have another layer with grime and dirt, something, you know, the old trick of 3D modeling, always adding dirt to a texture to make it more realistic. And then they add a further layer, which I call the, the white flecky bit layer which makes these all these little details not true details but it gives the impression of details so it's just layer upon layer upon layer in order to give it a much more realistic feel so when you're creating layer uh, textures from scratch always think about using putting a grime layer the specky little layer you know little white specks um, maybe another layer to give it more contrast and colors yes so yeah so, so you to make it more believable you've got to put in a lot more work a lot more texture a lot more layers but this will do fine so i'm going to go layer flatten image to save it now we're going to go to file save now when you're saving as dds it's going to put you into this little pop-up window now we're going to click on let's keep that on generate mip maps like I mentioned before if you didn't skip it uh, mip maps is useful for lower resolutions this is on the top layer top version we've got all these ones and usually we use that one uh, DXT1 RGB 4 BBB no no alpha 2D texture map filtering sharpening everything seems fine we go save as and it's saved great now we've got to create a normal map version of this texture so what we can do is drag it directly onto this stucco wall Now, what I tend to do is to layer flatten image because I do that because if we put on the filter map without flattening it, it tends to be a bit translucent, a bit transparent, and it doesn't look quite right. So we got our base layer, go to filter, NVIDIA tools, normal map filter, and it looks something like this. And basically, we keep most of these the same, but what we want to fiddle with is the scale. You see, it's just pretty blue. We want some more pinks and more cyans, so let's change the scale of something. 10. And you can see we've got a lot more detail there. Maybe let's go for 30, perhaps. That's a lot detail. Maybe they're too much. 20. Hmm. I think that should work for now. Uh, let's test it out. Press OK. And there we go. We've made a normal map out of this existing uh, map. So now, same process. We go File, Save. And if we go to the drop down menu, um, save now this is what I want to explain for my normal maps I like to choose the first setting uh, the first one I never use 3DC normal map and I've never used one built alpha um, I'm not sure about other models out there but when I tried them in my testing they failed to work if you could get it to work then please tell me in the comments for now I'm going to choose no alpha click save alpha information will be lost that will be okay for now because this is a wall it doesn't have any alpha information press ok and there we go so if we go back to Nivscope <laughs> our model updates with our new texture now you see if I move this, if I move this model around you can see the uh, textures are hitting it uh, it's a little bit bright 
that's because we have adjusted the normal map so if we go back to our normal map we'll define works best if we duplicate it duplicate the layer that's okay go to screen so now we make it lighter let's flatten the image and let's save it yes okay and if we go back to NIFScope you see it is not just shiny anymore and that's basically how we do it of course this texture needs some more work I think the uh, it's a bit too bright maybe darken a little bit uh, we can do that briefly by going into curves bringing it down a little bit crushing the whites okay let's save it and now it looks a bit more darker I found most of the textures in Skyrim are a bit dark but that's it that is the basic theory on how to create your own textures um, so that's it. That is basically how you, you can retexture anything within Skyrim um, using the plugins that I've described in the previous video and using the techniques I've described in this video to make normal maps and all sorts of things. Um, always, always create a backup of your texture files and you can just use the, you know, the overwrite method or you can go within uh, NIFScope and change the texture shit using these purple uh, flowers or you can go at a texture set within creation kit and do it that way as I've shown in a previous video thank you for watching this video I hope this has been helpful I hope it inspires you and uh, if I messed up or have made a mistake please tell me in the comments and if it has helped you please share this video with others on social media thank you for watching